really, like, the, the music was secondary because I was good at sports. Like, I was real good at football and basketball, like, special football. I thought, really, I, I wanted to go pro in football. Came on my first CD, I was 13. But, like, for all actually just getting my big shot at, that's when I was, like, 26. And I've been grinding since I was 13 with it, like, real hard. You could tell he was gonna do something, singing or rapping. I didn't think it was gonna be rapping. I thought it was gonna be singing. I think BZ kind of got kind of frustrated because it wasn't, like, going as fast as he wanted to do. And I just I always tell him, don't give up. You got this. You got this. Keep going. Well, at first, it was kind of, like, exciting. Then it got kind of scary. And because every time we used to go out, people would say, if I be with my daughter, they would say, that's yellow mother. Like, when I first heard it on the radio, I'm talking about I was driving. I almost wrecked that because, you know, hearing your son on the radio, that's amazing. The, the street selected trapping designer, and it kind of went, it took off for him. Trap designer, though, I think that was like 2014, 2015, something like that. Talking about what I was living, like we was, like in Dallas, it's a fashion city. So like, the girls want the niggas that's dressing fly. Like, niggas feel like if he ain't wearing this or he ain't wearing that, he ain't got no money. You get what I'm saying? So it's like a big fashion show. And niggas was really hustling out of lofts and condos and actually like, like big houses. Like, like I say, it's a fashion show. Every day you step out, you gotta be looking presentable. Like, ain't no, really ain't no basketball shorts, none of that. Like, they weren't doing that no more. Like, nigga be coming outside, like, dressed in designer just to go to the store, just to go buy some more clothes, or just to walk around, just to go hustling. And that was like the first song that just took out. We were just really just living what we was talking about. You know the name, you know he's doing music, but I was never, as a DJ, by, by fault, I wasn't playing the music. And somebody came to me and, and tapped me on the shoulder like, why are you not playing Trap and Design at the time, which was one of the biggest street records. You know, all the strip clubs had it, it was popping. And I was, I couldn't even answer the guy. I was like, uh, you know what, I don't know. Immediately I started playing and I saw the reaction because I was in a, one of the biggest clubs in the market. So I saw the reaction, I, I hit him on the horn like, yo, I've been slipping, but I'm not slipping no more. Whatever you need from me, I got you. I see what it is now. And that day forth, I saw yellow everywhere I went. I'm putting it like this. If I was from Atlanta, Trap and Designer would have been a that's on me at that time period. Me being in another market, it would have blew me bigger than what I was like coming from Dallas. 